Once again, our starting point is our Seoul Tokyo trade tensions. The nation's top office emphasized Japan is in serious violation of WTO principles and international trade norms. South Korea will review whether to keep the two countries' military information sharing agreement as well. Shin Zemin has our top story. Presidential National Security Advisor Kim Hyun Jong says Tokyo is clearly violating the WTO principles of free trade and international law through its unilateral export curbs and once again called on Japan to retract the measures. Regarding top Japanese diplomat Taro Kono's remarks that Seoul is not abiding by a 1965 bilateral treaty, the top aide said such claims are incorrect. We would like to emphasize that it was Japan which violated international law by committing crimes against humanity in the form of forced labor. This is what the Supreme Court of Korea pointed out. Kim said South Korea had followed all standard procedures to resolve the issue of forced labor with Japan through regular diplomatic channels. The top aide also flatly rejected Japan's proposal for a third-party arbitration process for which it has set a July 18th deadline for Seoul to respond. Japan has been repeatedly calling for resolution through arbitration in accordance with the claim settlement agreement, but we have never agreed to a deadline that Japan has set arbitrarily and unilaterally. Korea's presidential office said it hopes to extend the general security of military information agreement with Japan for the time being. But it noted that the deal will be objectively scrutinized both qualitatively and quantitatively in terms of the information the two sides have exchanged to see how helpful it is to Seoul. In other words, the bilateral military information sharing accord will be dealt separately from Japan's economic retaliations. With the long fraught relations between Seoul and Tokyo on trade only escalating by the day, a high ranking official here at the top office added that such a dispute could extend into the long term, perhaps even after Japan's upper house elections next week. Shin Semin, Arirang News.